Uh, hello class. Uh, so this is the uh, uh, YouTube for volume questions uh, from the second uh, practice sheet. And I'm sorry that I couldn't be in the class today, uh, but I'm hoping that this will be helpful for you. And uh, if you want to pause at any time, please do so. Or if you want to rewind, please do so. If you want to do fast forward for some reason, well, uh, uh, Kimia, please stop anybody who will be coming closer to the computer. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get started on this one. So th this is a calculator question, as we, uh, as we know, number one was calculator question. Now, here we are looking at the region R uh, in the first and second quadrant, and then bounded by the curve that's given here, and then uh, below by the hor uh, horizontal line, y equals 2. Now, so in order for us to get that, what, what I'm going to do is this. I will go for the uh, Wolfram to get the uh, uh, graph done because I don't have the calculator with me. So we have y equals 20 divided by, I believe it was uh, 1 plus 1 plus x squared. All right, so uh, we get to see the graph that looks something like this. Now, what I'm going to do is, let's see if I can copy, copy the image, and paste. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Nice. All right, so we have something like this. Now, we have a horizontal line by y equals 2, so we're going to have a line that goes somewhere around here. All right, so we're looking at that region is region R. First, how do you find the area? Uh, we will be able to find the area by uh, simply getting the integral. Now, always upper one minus the lower one, so upper one will be 20 over 1 plus x squared minus lower one being the y equals 2 dx. Now, of course, we want to find out the intersection right here, uh, where they will be intersecting. It looks like 3, positive and negative 3. Now, if you if you want uh, able to see that intuitively from this expression, uh, you could plug uh, into the calculator, uh, and then we'll realize that the lower bound would have been negative 3, and upper bound will be positive 3. All right, so what we have to do is just uh, get this one, and then we'll, uh, we will be able to get our answers. So what I'm going to do is inter integral of this whole expression minus 2 from negative 3 to 3. Now, as it's calculating, all right. So that uh, this seems to be what we uh, what we end up getting. All right. So what I'm, once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this image and then paste. So there it goes. So about that value that we are looking at. Now, second one. Find the volume of the solid generated when R is rotated. Now, notice that there is a small uh, section here underneath. This green area, in fact, will be empty. It's not part of R, so what we actually have to do is we have to take the uh, upper level, the, the blue line, solid generated by the blue line, minus solid generated by the red line. That's how we make the hollow. Uh, tube inside of the solid that we'll be creating. So, and then once again, this one is uh, rotated about the x-axis along this way. Now, the first thing what we're going to be doing is we'll, let's try to make a longer rectangle. Then you will realize that that will be radius r. How do you find the r? In this case, r will be the y value, which in this case, given in this 
expression 20 over 1 plus x squared would have been our y, uh, y value, which is the radius r. So let's try to look into that. Now, first, then we will be end up getting from negative 3 to positive 3. Now, pi r, r is the expression, so we're going to have 20 over 1 plus x squared, the whole expression squared, dx, pi r squared times the thickness of the disk. Now, but we need to subtract pi negative 3 to the 3 of the inner one, which would have been radius being here is equal to 2 from here to here. In this case, radius is always constant. So we end up getting 2 squared uh, dx. But let us notice from the, uh, as we have talked about it one time in class, as long as the uh, boundary for the integral is equal to each other, uh, in this case, even the coefficient was equal to each other, so what we could have write was pi negative 3 through 3 with the expression 20 over 1 plus x squared, whole thing squared minus 2 squared. We can uh, put these two integrals together into 1 and then dx. Once again, we're going to do this one using the um, Wolfram alpha. All right. Now, here, uh, what I'm going to do is, first I have to put squares, and I will also multiply the whole expression by pi. Or I, uh, I'm just, let me just write them 3 point, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, 6, 5, 3, 5, I just stop here, yes. And then, let's see what happens. Right, so then we end up getting something like this. So I will uh, copy this image, and then... right over here, then this is our answer. So our answer is about this value. Now, when I look back on the question, uh, since there is no uh, particular unit, so our numerical value would have been the uh, perfectly fine. First answer was this one, and second answer was this one. All right, let us move on to the next question. All right, here we have, once again, number one, this was calculator question. So in your case, you can go back to the uh, calculator. In my case, I'll go back to the uh, O for an alpha. All right, so R is given this section, ln of x versus x minus 2. Now, find the area R. So what we're going to be doing is this, once again, if you're to have one small strip of rectangle, which would have been one of many that we will be summing as in the S, as in the integral, uh, what we'll be doing is this. Uh, we will uh, simply um, uh, do the upper minus lower. So here comes A. Well, let me do A right over here. A would have been our uh, integral. Once again, we need to find that the boundaries. Uh, and then we have upper one is ln of x is curvy so therefore that's upper ln of x minus notice I put the parentheses x minus 2 if you do not put the parentheses we tend to make mistakes just like how we used to two three years ago right all right uh, so let me try to find out the uh, intersections so I'm gonna go for here intersection between y equals x and y equals x minus 2, I believe. Yes, it was x minus 2. All right, so maybe I'll just put the parentheses here. to redo uh, better.
or since somehow it's not reading it, so I'm just going to put it equal to each other. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so it gives us the value. Oh, now finally it did. Uh, this value right here, and also this value. Now, what are those values we need to? First, let me try to get the, uh, I mean, we, we have the image anyway, okay. Then, uh, approximate solutions are these values. Okay, right there. So, separately all right okay then I just put it right over here right over here so we end up getting point one five nine is the lower bound and then three point one four six is the upper bound all right and then we just have to take this one uh then was this value all right so our answer is right over there so I'm just gonna write it one more time it was 1.9 Our answer. Find the volume of the solid generated by, um, generated when R is rotated about the horizontal line y equals to negative three. Now, y equals to negative three in this graph, it would have been something uh, along this line because we uh, notice when uh, x equals uh, this value. Let's go back to the previous one. X equals negative three would have been around here. So we realize. The uh, lower uh, rotation of x axis would be below that value. So why don't I actually take this picture just one more time, and then go over there and then explain further. All right. So we will have a line that goes right below around here in the middle approximately all right given that then outer same as before uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, get the solid from here all the way down to here created by the blue uh, line subtracting the uh, the solid that was generated by this purple line. So now, how are we going to get the uh, volume that was generated by the blue line? Now, then radius would have been something like this from here to here. Notice. Because radius is always measured from the axis of rotation. So go all the way up there to down here. Now, then uh, you will realize that what is this length? The length is once again upper one minus the lower one. That's how we find the difference in the y value. 
So then, uh, for b, yes, we will be finding a pi, which goes from point 0.159 to same as before, 3.146. Now, upper line here would have been equal to ln of x. Minus the lower one, here was y equals negative 3. Now, uh, this portion becomes the r radius, which we have drawn from here to all the way down here. Because that portion, the upper portion is the ln of x, then the bottom portion is uh, subtracting by negative 3, which is like as if we are adding 3. Now, since that is equal to r, when we square them, that becomes the volume of the outer. Uh, solid. Now, volume of the inner solid will be uh, similarly uh, x minus 2 was the purple line. Uh, right here we see that minus negative 3 is the, once again, by the lower line. So, second radius becomes this way from the purple line to below. Now, this one also has to be squared up in dx. If we can uh, evaluate this one using the calculator, which we should, then we'll be, get, we'll be able to get our answers. Now, I'm going to do that once again with the uh, Wolfram. Here, then we have the integral uh, of uh, pi times because it was minus negative 3 square minus x minus 3 uh, minus 2 plus 3 square now that uh the expression that we see right here, those, uh, that is the expression for the uh, integral. Now, so from uh, 0.159 to 3.146. All right. So, notice that they simply switch the uh, sign, but that's space where we end up. Uh, looking for, and there it goes. That would have been our answer. Here we have it. Then uh, we realize that that portion becomes our answer, part B. Part C. Uh, write but do not evaluate the integral expression that can be used to find the volume of the solid generated by, uh, rotated by the y axis. Now, then what I'm going to do is this. I will uh, clone this picture only. And blow it up a little bit more. Now we are looking at part C. Rotation of the axis is now Y axis. Then outer solid, the bigger solid now, is not determined by the blue line as you can see here, but rather it will be by the purple line from here all the way down to here. What is that? That is the length of the axis that was determined by the purple line. Now, this since the purple line was uh, expressed by y equals x minus 2, meaning it was solved for y, but now we need to convert this one um, in terms of x. What is uh, Then this becomes x equals y plus 2. Because that is the x value and that is the radius. Now, how about the uh, blue one? That will be the radius. Now, then once again, this uh, blue uh, line was y equals ln of x. That means what is x? x equals e to the y. And we will use this as a radius. Then, now what are we going to do? Pi. We have to get the lower bound and upper bound. Now, uh, we'll get we'll find out the lower bound and upper bound of it later using the Wolfram. But 
in this case, the outer solid was generated by the purple line, which means right here, y plus 2 squared minus inner, which is e to dy. So e to dy squared uh, dy. Now, so I will use uh, these values once again to find out when, for what value of y, will they be equal to each other. So, y plus 2 equals e to the y. When are they equal to each other? Now, approximate form. The lower boundary was negative. Copy image. All right, so that is first the lower boundary, in fact. And then upper boundary would have been That would have been the upper bound right there. So you can see that a little bit. Now, then, uh, if you devaluate this one, what would have happened? So, integral of pi times outer one was uh, y plus 2 and then square minus uh, e to the y square from uh, negative 1.1 uh, 1.146. All right. So once we get to calculate this one, actually, in fact, uh, even though that is the answer, I believe on the question they said just write what to not integrate. All right, there it goes. So that's our answer. All right. The last one. Right now, so first function is given this way, and then g of x is given the other way. Uh, find the area of R. Now, of course, same way as before, we have to uh, write up the expression A. Area is equal to upper one is f of x. So, one plus sine of two x. And the bottom one is that one, so we're going to have e to the x over 2 dx. Now, uh, when both of the value of x is equal to 0, then we get to realize that uh, both parties will be equal to 1. So we know the lower boundary will be equal to 0. We just need to find out the upper boundary. So we'll do that using the, once again, OFAN. In your case, you can figure it out by... Uh, graphing calculator. So we have 1 plus sine of 2x has to be somehow equal to e to the x over 2. I believe that, that was the uh, expressions. Alright, so that seems to be right. Alright, so we realize that this one is the value that we saw. Next value would have been this. So a little bit above 1. Now, then, we are looking for a value that's a little bit greater than 1. I believe that's what we are 
that's what we found. So therefore, I'll find this one over here. So here we have one point one three six. That would have been our uh, boundaries. Now so we need to find out the area, so then we're going to go back. Instead of saying equal, we're going to subtract it, and then I'm looking for integral of this one from 0 to Okay, there it goes. That becomes our answer. All right. Now, number B. This one has to be rotated about the x-axis. Then we realize that it's going to be something like this. Now, once again, just like before, we have to get the outer radius, which is long like this, and then inner radius would have been shorter coming from the bottom of the uh, area or uh, section R. Now, then in order for us to solve B here, what we like to do is this pi, once again, um, same boundaries, 0 through 1.136. Now, the outer one is f of x, which basically means this one. 1 plus sine of 2x squared minus uh, e to the x over 2 and something squared dx. Now, and how are we going to get this? That is the value. Now, integral of pi, first pi was, uh, pi has to multiply, and then this one, squared, and this expression also has to be squared, and I believe, I believe that seems to be okay now. All right, four point two. Okay. Oops. And this seems to be our answer. All right, and we have one more question. All right, so here we have this expression is given. Now, we'll try to do this one in class. All right. See you.